Good afternoon guys. So, today is Lauren's last day of work. Like, she's not quit work and she's not been fired or anything like that, but we spoke about this before. She works in a school um, and it is like the big, big old summer holiday starting. I say summer, it's throwing it down outside. It's absolutely bouncing down with rain, but that's by the by. Anyway, it's Lauren's last day, so she's in a good mood. And... She's going out tonight for like a meal with work, so uh, no doubt she's going to tell you all about that later. I have been doing some work, so I had to have like a Skype chat with um, the person that I'm working for, that I'm doing some writing for. So in that call, uh, she asked me to write up some things, which is fine, perfect, and I sent it across and she says, can I just like ask for a few little changes, which is fine, that's normal. People ask for that sort of thing. She said, can you write it in a more womanly way? What? Like, I asked and she wanted like a little bit more emotion. And she told me to put myself in the shoes of a mother, in the shoes of a woman. And, and try and write and try and approach it all from that point. I'm not a woman. It's difficult to do that sort of thing. So... That's what I'm working on now. I'm working on writing like a lady. By the way, when I told Lauren that I was writing for this thing that was like based around women and mothers, she kicked off because she's like, why isn't it about dads too? Dads can be good parents too, so why, why isn't it being aimed at dads? I'm like, don't ask me, this is not my like thing, I'm just doing the work. Lauren's like quite, quite militant when it comes to that sort of thing. So if you ever want to get into an argument with her about something, like, do it about that. Because she'll argue. She'll argue all day long, just like a dad would. Look who's got six weeks off work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, there is no better atmosphere than a school on the last day of term before the six-week holidays. <laughs> it's just a joyous place to be. But I now have six whole weeks off work. And it's great. Um, Josh told you I'm going out tonight. So I'm going out with everyone from work. Um, some people are like, well, we're going for a meal. We're all going for a meal. And then some people are staying out and having a drink. But I'm not because I have a bottle of wine in the fridge waiting for me. And I'm getting a lift too um, with like a couple of people that obviously aren't drinking. Um, so yeah, I'll probably have a couple of drinks with my meal, but then I've got my bottle of wine waiting for me when I get home, because it's Wine Friday. So yeah, six glorious weeks off work. But that does mean that you are left with Josh tonight. So it's just going to be very much a Josh vlog, which most of them usually are anyway, so it's not really any different. <laughs> but you are going to be in Josh's very capable hands tonight, and I will be back tomorrow when, when I've had my work evening do out. Burgers! Look at that! Two perfectly frozen burgers that are going to get perfectly cooked and perfectly eaten. And then we boiled some potatoes in here. Well, not completely boiled them, but just sort of let them boil for, a, for like a couple of minutes so we could deep fry them into proper chips. Oh yeah, this is not healthy. At all, but this is an absolute treat. Look at that. Look at them. They look so good. Oh. Yeah. Hot. Very hot. But divine. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a short presentation on how to construct the perfect burger. Step one. Get your buns out, girl! Step two. Green! Yeah, make it rain, make it green. A bit more for good luck. Then, you put the burgers on the buns. Pow! And finally, you put the lids on. All done. But, what does the public think? Oh, it's just absolutely wonderful. I love it. It's absolutely adorable. It's lovely. And there you have it. The perfect burger. Perfect burgers, not one but two. Ugh, so I've got my burgers. I've got some beer right here. Look, I've got some beer in the tiki cup. Uh, we got 
Brooklyn Nine-Nine on TV because I've started to watch that again season one still funny that's how we roll in this evening that's how we roll when Lauren's not here burgers beer Brooklyn Nine-Nine all the bees ten minutes later oh I'm in a food coma so much lettuce so it is now quarter to eleven and I ten out of ten knew that even though Lauren said I'm not gonna be too long I knew for a fact this should be out like all night which is fine I don't mind that but like I knew it why did you say she wasn't gonna be out long she's drinking and she's chatting with other women like that's that's bound to result in hours and hours and hours worth of chat and drink I don't know. Anyway, I was uh, waiting for her to get home so like we could record like a little ending bit. I'm trying not to knock the clock off the wall. Uh, so we could record an ending bit together but time's knocking on and I need to edit this vlog. Oh god, I knocked it. I need to edit this vlog so you can see Lauren in tomorrow's vlog instead. So I, I, I waited as long as I could so you could see her but it's it's, it's getting late. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go edit and export and then go to bed. So, I'll see you guys next time.